Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This is the best, very best episode I have ever had. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy sneezing. I mean, uh, gaming. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no word of lie on that. Uh, so in this episode, we're going to, we're actually going to make some trader runs. Um, and if it, you know, depending upon how time goes, maybe we'll do a quest too. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, Rexy's inventory first, cause everybody's reset. Uh, so we're going to sell a couple things to him. Um, let's sell this to him and that I'm not going to fix that up because it's probably not worth it. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but there was another yellow bag that had dropped in the last episode, kind of back behind the pawn shop. And I went and looked in it after I let you, let you guys go and there was another set of blue iron leg armor but I already have blue armor this is 0.3 better armor wise but it's almost three points less in explosion resistance and you know considering my chosen uh, mode of attack many times in this game explosion resistance is, resistance is kind of important so anyway uh, all that to say we can sell this for 712 coin and I think uh, I think that's all we wanted to sell to him um so he's got a couple things I want. He's got Wasteland Treasures, which is uh, lets us make mineral water. So we're going to buy that. Urban Combat, Landmines Won't Step When Detonated. I'd like to buy that, uh, but we're going to have to come back and get that later because I don't have um, enough money on me. And then I already looked through his normal stash, and he doesn't have anything else uh, in his normal stash that I want. Oh, that okay, so let's, um, that's all you buy. let's just take another job from him. Um... I'm just kind of trying to consider the the direction here. So northeast is going to be uh, or west. Neither one of these are really anywhere near where we need to go. So uh, I guess we'll take the let's take the western one. You need some work or what? Okay, but like I said, we might we might not get to that today. Um, depending upon you know how our time goes. Okay, so how much money do I have on me right now? 137. So let's just buy. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy any of that stuff. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go. We're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run over to my my home and just drop some stuff off. Then we're gonna go north, talk to Trader Hughes, see his inventory. I'm gonna grab all my money too, of course. And um, then we're gonna circle down, and we have um. A trader gin here and let's see uh, save waypoint trader J uh, actually we should probably do gin because we also have trader Joel too so we have a trader gin there um, we have a trader gin here uh, so we'll check their inventory then we're gonna go down oh you know what we could do Let, let's hit Jennifer's treasure map actually yes yeah, so, okay so we'll go Bing bang boom bada boom come through here and hit this and then we'll go over we'll grab our bicycle we'll talk to uh trader joel in our original town and then stop, stop by and talk to trader hugh and then then depending upon how our time goes maybe maybe we'll try and do a little bit of wasteland looting while we're down there too. And, you know, just save the questing for another day. I mean, the question's always going to be available. So yeah, I think that's the plan. All right. So I will, I'm not going to show you guys, you know, the traveling of course, but I will show you uh, what the traders have at each location. And then we will go from there. So I'll see you up at uh, Trader Hughes. All right. Picked up a damn vulture here. Hold still. Uh, okay, so we are at uh, Trader Hughes here. Let's um, hop on in here and see what he has. I've got um, all my coin with me. I got a couple more things to sell. I got some sugar butts and some Grandpa's awesome sauce in case we come across a really high low um, high ticket item. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, see what he's got here. I'm listening. Inventory. All right, let's first of all sell this to you. Uh, I wanted to sell that in this flashlight i think that's all we want to sell to him okay let's take a look at his secret stash hunter's journal more damage to bears yep i'm gonna take that for sure 
Uh, Hunter mod. Oh, I guess I already know that. So, yeah, we should, um... Uh, we should be making that, actually. Oh! Just got a motorcycle, you guys, and I can afford it. It's gonna take a big chunk of my cash, but... Um... Mmm, yeah, you know what? It's only money. <laughs> We're gonna earn it back. Let's look at his normal stash. I have the, you know, I have the, um, the chassis learned, but the thing about that, though, is then I have to gather up all the steel it requires, too, and we're not able yet to make steel. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that, you guys. Okay, so let's see. Um, so right now it's 27,000. so bad after all. Um, so let's take a sugar butts, and... Let's take an awesome sauce, which gives us a bartering duration, or 20%. We already have the cigar, so basically between those, what is this, 10%? Yeah. Uh, we're going to get a 40% discount. Well, the 27000 was without with the cigar, and so we're, we're going to get 30% more off is what it's going to boil down to. Um, all right, so, yeah, see, so now it's only 18000 Yeah, I think we're going to do it. It's done. It is a done deal. Robotic Drone Morale Booster Mod Schematic. I don't even know what that does, but we'll figure that out later. I, I would like to play around with the drones at some point. Um, but that's going to probably, for me, be an end more of an end game thing. Now, since we got all this going, uh, I'm going to buy this steel from him now, too. Just because we're getting such a big discount. Because I need some steel for, for Horde Knight. Well, it's about time you bought something. All right. Awesome, man. Well, we got ourselves a motorcycle, guys. Fantastic. Oh, let's grab some uh, stuff out of the vending machine, too. Um, so we're basically going to buy all of this stuff. Perfect. We can go faster now, and we have more storage space. Downside is it's going to consume more gasoline. But, I mean, oh, shit. It is what it is, right? That's the way it works. Okay, let's get the motorcycle down. Uh, I can't put it there because of the trader, probably, right? Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is take all of the gasoline out of here that I have, and we're going to pick this guy up. Let's put gas in here. And we'll put this guy in here. Uh, let's, let's actually take the... Uh, the coloring off of here and put it blue on the bike. So this changes things in the, from the sense that I don't nest. I don't really need to go get that bicycle now. I mean, we're gonna still go check the trader anyways. Um, but I don't need to go get that bicycle. I mean, I might as well if we're gonna go through there anyways. But we can use the mini bike now if we, you know, get killed. So okay, so you had yeah, you're at hundred percent gas. Um, we need to find a. A desert bomb here now so we can start doing uh you know oil shale too so all right here we go fan freaking tastic we got our motorcycle ladies and gentlemen how much money do we still have left over oh yeah we still have a full stack and and then some so we still have coin to buy some other things cool okay well i will meet you at the at the next trader we'll, we're gonna still make the, the rounds anyways Okay, we're at uh, Trader Joel in the forest, and let's get all the food from him. And then go check his inventory. We still have five minutes left on the sugar butts. I'm not going to pop another elixir unless we find a really expensive item that we want. Uh, let's see. Check your inventory. Okay. So, Ranger's Guide to Archery Learning. Yeah, that's the one I want. That is the one I want. Beautiful. Okay, Tech Junkie Volume 6, Chance for Power, nah, I'm not really worried about that. Compound Bow Schematic, no, I'm not interested in that. And that's it, all he's got for Secret Stash. Uh, that's kind of tempting, but what do we got now? Iron Crossbow, Barbed Wire Mod Schematic, 2X Scope Mod. SWAT Helmet, but it's a really crappy one. We'll eventually find one of those, I'm sure. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's the one I just bought, right? Yeah, volume four. 
I'm so glad we found that. Now we can start making the steel crossbow bolts. Ooh, another Kim bench. Eh, I mean, I don't, I'm not at the point right now where I need to. I'd like to eventually have to, but I wouldn't say that's a super high priority item right at the moment. Okay. Um, yeah, let's buy that. Okay. Thank you, Survivor. This is great, man. This is one of the things that has been high up on my list. Beautiful. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's take a look at our map here. So we're at this trader. We're gonna shoot down to this trader, Jin. Um, you know what we might actually do instead? Yeah, let's do this trader, Jin. Then we'll go down to our original trader. We'll grab our bicycle anyways. There's no reason to keep it down here. I'm not planning on ever coming back down there, um, for any specific reason. We'll cross over, hit trader Hugh, and then we might. I don't know. We might try and do a little cross country or see if we can find a highway going back up to Jen's treasure map and then end at this trader Jen here. If we can even get that far um, before nightfall. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Okay. We're at uh, trader Jen's. Let's take a look in here. Get the usual... Sells a yucca juice smoothie. If you are here to buy, I've right. got the best selection of medicine. Okay, let's in check the secret stash. Urban combat volume six armor doesn't slow you down in combat. Thank you very much. We are gonna take that for sure. She's got a yellow pump shotgun, banner up magnum enforcer volume three. The last shot in the chamber does double damage. Yep, we're getting it. We're getting it. Alright, let's take a look at normal. These luckies do plus four, which is what we currently have to come back and see me sometime. Okay. So let's read those. Love that, man. Um, let's take this right now because I feel like, uh, I feel like doing it. All right, let's go. See you guys down at Trader Joel. Okay. Here we are back in our original town and we're going to give Trader Joel a visit. Okay, that's all I want from there. What you got, Welcome, buddy? Survivor. Feel free to look around. Okay, rocket launcher schematic, mini bike handlebars, automatic volume two. Fully automatic mode does 1% more damage per hit until you miss. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, reflex sight mode. Ooh, wow, that's expensive. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that. Uh, okay, let's look at the normal stash. Okay, doesn't look like he has anything else we Thanks want. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. Okay. Let's go grab our bicycle from our old house. Um, I think I left it in the garage. And uh, we might have a couple sleep. Oh, look, our trees are still there that we planted too. Oh, awesome. Uh, we might have to fight a zombo or two because, you know, this place is no longer protected from sleepies. But we do, we do. Um, I am almost halfway down on gasoline, so that's a thing. Uh, oh, where the hell's my bike? It shows down there. All right, let's look on the map here. I guess it doesn't show up on the the map. Why is it down there? This <laughs> stupid game. Okay, is there anything inside of it? No. So let's pick it up. There we go. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. Uh, it's starting to get on in the day, but we should have no problem getting down to Trader Hugh in the Wasteland. And then after that, we'll see where we are. Okay. We are back into the Wasteland, and we got another stupid zombie bear. Um, those guys used to be distracted by stones. I wonder if they still are. Uh, we need to come up with a stone. 
Oh my goodness, that wind is loud. All right, let's just see if we can get him to bugger off. Yeah, they st they're still distracted by stones. Okay, cool. Let's run in here and see what Hugh has. There's a blood moon coming. Yeah, there's always a blood moon coming. All right, let's take a look. 44 Magnum, do, 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 Lucky Looter Volume 1. Find more dukes and loot. Yeah, I mean, nice, but uh, that's the schematic. That'd be pretty damn useful, wouldn't it? Um, how are we doing? Oh, we still have 20,000 coin there. All right, let's keep that one in mind for a second. Uh, we have more sugar butts, too, which we could use to reduce the price a little bit. Let's take a look at his normal stash here. That's all he's got. Okay, um... Do I want to do the bandolier mod? What do we get? Chit chat for me today. What do we get for the lucky looter tree once it's done or magazines or whatever? Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. Um, we've only got one of those. Okay. Well, um, we're not quite at the point where we can just spend money left and right, you know? So I think what we're going to do, though, is we, these are cheap enough. Let's take one of those. And then we are going to buy, uh, where was it? I can't remember now. The bandolier mod schematic. That's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to hold off on God, the lucky litter. Done browsing. Next time I'll charge you for that. Okay. Uh, so let's see what time is it? It's almost 6 PM. Um, let's look and see this we can do at night. So. But the thing is, is we don't have any more traders between uh, Oh, wait a minute. Did we? Yeah, we hit that trader. That was Trader Joel. So we either go to the treasure and do that, or we try and hit Trader Jen before it gets completely dark. The problem is, um, I don't know what kind of pathway we have up there. So I guess let's just do some exploration. And, um, yeah, we'll do some exploration and we'll go from there. Hey, cut it out. Get out of here. Um, I do need to be mindful of my fuel level, too, so I don't really want to run out of gas in the wasteland. Boy, we don't have very much. I may have to hit a few cars. Just get a little extra gas. But let's just go, uh, let's go this way. For, you know, we'll go west for a little ways, but we need to start thinking about trying to get to the north fairly soon. And hopefully there's a highway that'll lead up that direction. Oh, there's a whole bunch of gas here. Yeah, let's just gr grab the gas that's here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Uh, the ones with the little yellow things don't have anything in them. That's a pretty decent amount of fuel. We'll grab, look inside the cars. Um, whoo, look at that. Nice. I was just about to say, um, looting cars in the wasteland is probably a worthwhile thing to do. Case in point, right? A chainsaw. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Crap level chainsaw. But chainsaw nonetheless, right? I guess we could check in the bus. Hold still. Alright, it's starting to get a little hot here. 
Just a little. We picked up a fairly decent amount of gas from those pumps, though. More than I would have thought. Let's just leave this area and keep going a little ways further. Yeah, man, we found that blue pistol. That's really nice. Oh, I don't see any more roadways going west. This is a parking lot. Woo, look at that. I kind of don't want to go across country too much. Oh, it looks like we're going across country. <laughs> That's a little dangerous. A little dangerous. Oh, you frickin' buzzards. <laughs> Alright, let's deal with these assholes. Hold still. Okay, so, uh, let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, that wrapped around that way. There's a street going this way, but I don't think it... Well, let's just see how far north it goes. Right about to there. Ah, oh, shit, okay. I mean, I guess we could theoretically go across country. If we hit landmines at speed, they probably won't hurt us. Probably. Seriously? I hear it, copper risky. It is getting dark, too. That's the other consideration. I don't know that I really want to be here at nighttime. Oh, shit. Way to have your crossbow loaded there, OG. Oh, for goodness sakes. Sledgehammer is a terrible melee weapon for birds because it's so slow. Um. All right. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. We were talking about how we don't really want to be in the wasteland at nighttime. It's probably not the wisest course of action. So, I suppose I could... I should, I should just use this on the birds. One shot of that's probably going to kill them. Well, this is... I'm doing this against my better judgment. But, let's go north. If we just go fast enough, the theory is if we ride over a land... Oh, here's a highway. Oh, a desert! Oh, nice! Okay, well, look at that, you guys. We need a desert big time for oil shale. Hmm, this kind of changes our plans. All right. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's um, let's find the northern boundary of the desert. Oh, yeah, we're going to get toasty out here, aren't we? Uh, and then we'll find the nearest oil shale deposit to the northern boundary. One of the reasons why I want to be at the northern boundary is if we really start getting hot, we can hop over into the the forest and cool off a little bit. Because I'm I'm totally decked out for, you know, winter weather here. Oh, this was great. I wasn't expecting to find the, uh, the desert, but I am so glad we did because we need oil shale. You know, we, we now, we have a chainsaw now. And we have... The auger that we found a couple episodes ago. We have the motorcycle, which consumes a lot more fuel. And so, yeah, it's definitely time for us to start making our own gasoline. Absolutely. This is great. Okay, so there's a an oil shale there. But let's see if we can get a little closer to the border. And then we'll look right along the border for one. Okay, great. So, here. Come here, dickweed. Seriously? What the hell's wrong with the shotgun? 
Oh, man. That is just... What in the world? Okay. Then we have more vultures chasing us. All right. And I don't really care about being in the desert at night either. Just not a big deal. Okay, so let's just look for some shale right along the border here. I am stoked, man, that we found the desert. Wasn't even looking for it either. I was thinking, though, about it. Like, okay, we got to have an episode where we go look for the desert. <laughs> okay. Here's one right here. This will work. This will work just fine. Hey, how come you're coming out of the forest? It's supposed to be coming out of the desert. All right, great. So we found an oil shell, man. Let's get that out of the way so we don't step on it. Okay, well, guys, uh, how close are we to our treasure? It's uh, still a little ways to the north. All right, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. I'm going to um, I'm gonna mine some oil shale. I didn't bring... Oh, shit, I didn't bring my auger with me, but that's okay. We'll just use our pick for, and get enough of it to get us going. Um, and then I'll, you know, I'll come back down here at some point with the auger and get like a whole mess of it. Uh, but I'm just going to get enough with the pick now to get us going. And then, uh, so I'll work on that. And then I think what we'll do is I'll bring you guys back. Um, and we'll go hit that treasure. And then, uh, you know, kind of see where our time is uh, at that point. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, uh, we are now at the treasure location. I got uh, 2670 oil shale, which should be plenty um, to get us started with that. And then, like I said, I'll come back um, at some point off camera with the uh, the auger, and uh, then, we'll, then we'll get a whole mess of it. Okay, so um, last time we did this, we did, in fact, start in the southwest corner, and uh, the treasure was right there, but that could... Could have definitely just been coincidental, you know. So let's kill off all the feral sense zombies first. Before we go down in the hole. Um, okay. Let's do this too. Make a little noise. See if we can attract any, any of that outlier's attention. I think that's all it's going to attack us for now. Okay. Uh, I do have a concussion too, by the way, uh, but I don't have any pain pills with me to deal with it. So yeah, uh, that's fun. Fun stuff, man. Uh, all right. So let's see. This is the southwest corner here, right by the tree. Okay. I'll start digging and um, I do have my lock picks with me. Yeah. I'll bring you guys back when we find the treasure. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, there it is. I actually uncovered it sooner than I I realized, but uh, this is the southwest corner that we came down, and it's right here. Okay, let's uh, unlock this sucker and see what's inside. Be kind of nice to recoup a little bit of our coin, uh, but then again, uh, I wouldn't mind a crucible either. That's kind of the number one thing we're looking for right now. There we go. Wow, that, oh my goodness, that is a lot of stuff, you guys, including 763, so um, almost 8,000 coin plus all this other stuff. Wow, okay, I'll take it. I will take it. What is this, a semi? No, that's a full auto. Yeah, very nice. Okay, cool. All right, you guys, well, um, I think we're pretty much done. I can't go... You know, see trader this trader Jin until tomorrow. Um, but you know, she's not that far away from the house. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go back to the house uh for the rest of tonight. Uh get the you know, the oil shell cooking up for some gasoline, do some things around the house, and then, you know, pop down here first thing in the morning to look at her inventory. And then um then we'll we'll wrap up this episode. Okay. All right, guys, it is the next morning. And I was mining, and a screamer uh, came in, uh, so we were using the auger, and so we took out her, and she's got some stone and some nitrate and lead and stuff like that, 
And uh, let's see what else do we got going on. Uh, we've got the we got gasoline cooking up here, so we're getting lots of that stuff going, which is good. Uh, we're gonna head on down to uh, Trader Jen here in just a, a little bit to uh, see what she has, and then that'll finish our trader runs for for this time around. Uh, so I'm just kind of putting some of this stuff back in here for now. Uh, let's see what time is it. Yeah, it's almost six o'clock, so I think we're ready to go. What is what am I doing in here? Oh, I'm making murky water because I want to um, start making some paint. Because I think what we're gonna do in the next episode is we're going to we're gonna start we're gonna do some house deco. Um, let's get the paint made first since it'll we'll make it a lot more quickly. Uh, so let's see, we need 25, about 26, 27-ish burn time, so let's make it 28. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, the plan for the next episode is we're going to do some work around the house. Um, just to kind of break things up a bit, because I know I've been doing a lot of questioning, even though this episode was more, uh, a little bit different, but good stuff, man. I'm really happy with how things have turned out so far in this episode. So uh, just in case we do, she does have something absolutely phantasmagorical. We still have our sugar butts in our grandpa's awesome sauce and our coin. So let's go ahead and hop in the motorcycle. And we'll head on down to Trader Chin and see what she has. So th I'm talking about this Trader Chin right here. And, uh, you know, actually, let's get this as highway, and then we can just follow the highway all the way to her. And then we've checked all the other uh, traders that we have uncovered uh, I don't think we've actually uncovered a, a trader over here. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, okay, I'll meet you guys down there. Let's check the vending machine as usual. We'll take the Atom Junkies, the pasta, and the health bars. And then uh, go talk to Trader Jen. Okay, let's look at her uh, secret stash. Steel leg armor, mini bike handlebars. Grandpa's forgetting elixir, steel crossbow bolts. See, the thing is, is I can make these now, and I, I do have 50-some-odd made up, but the problem is, is I can't make the heads, so we might buy those. Uh, let's see what else she has. We we should get some more steel, too, though, now that I think about it. So we have all the armor pocket mods that we can put, single ones anyways, that we can wear, so I'm not going to buy any more of that stuff. Bucket oil. Shepherd's pie recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. This is the best. Very best episode I have ever had. Holy cow, there's the crystal, you guys. You know, and the thing about it is I haven't even put any points at all into better bar. Wow. That was an amazing find. Absolutely amazing find. Okay. So, yeah, okay, so to celebrate, we're going to buy that. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to make a lot of this stuff without the, you know, the potatoes and stuff, but um, let's buy this crossbow bolt ammo. I should actually, um, here. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Let's, let's, I'm not going to take the forgetting or, or the awesome sauce, but we might as well use these, right? I mean, that's why we have them. Oh, this is amazing. This is freaking amazing. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, go back here again. Um, so we wanted to buy these. So let's buy those from her. And she had those in her normal stash too, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to buy those. Not seriously expensive. And, you know, those... Uh, I'm, I have 50-some-odd cooking up, so we'll have a little over 100. Those will last us quite a while because I usually only use these for sneaky sneak shots anyways. Oh, that's amazing. This is the best freaking episode ever, you guys. Best episode ever. Okay, anyway, um, let's just take a quick more, uh, another quick look at everything because I got a little distracted by the best thing ever. <laughs> and uh, workbench chicken. Okay, so shotgun aside volume two. Uh, breaching ammunition. Eh, not not that, that great. Okay, so I think that's really all we're going to get from her. <laughs> that's pretty relatively cheap for an extra workbench, but then again, we can make one of those pretty easily too. So, cool. I hope you get feeling better. All right. Yeah, me too, Jenny. Me too. In real life. Okay, guys. That's th This is just excellent. We finally got our crucible. The thing is, though, um, what do we need? I think we're going to need some steel to make it, though, right? 
Oh no, we don't. Just iron. Yeah, I've got all that stuff in. I got all that stuff, like tons of that stuff. Okay, cool. This has been a good episode. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna let you go here. Uh, the plan for the next episode is gonna be that we are gonna we're gonna work on the house. Uh, so we're gonna switch things up a little bit, you know, from all the the questing and stuff that we've been doing. Where in the hell am I going? My house is this way. Okay, we're going this way. Um, yeah, so we'll do some work on the house and have a, have a building episode, and then after that, it'll probably be Horde Night 42. And so, and we'll, we'll by that time, I'll be able to make my own steel. I'll be able to make my own steel arrowheads. Um, so I guess I didn't even need to buy those, but whatever. doesn't matter. Um, it's all good. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I sure did. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.